Hi guys, it's your girl Mama Gabby. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from anywhere you're watching. If today is your first time coming to my channel, thank you so much. If you're returning OG, yay! Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. I do not take this for granted. Thank you all. If you have not subscribed to my channel, can you subscribe to my channel? Like, share, comment and help your baby girl go viral you can see all i'm doing today today i'm going to do my spice cabinet mm. my spice cabinet has been like you know true tech cover but today i'm just going to spend my time you know to organize it to my desk to my level to you know aesthetically looking good you know um i order these containers from amazon and at the same time, I was able to order some containers for my pantry, which I'm going to do. My pantry is also as messy as my cabinet, my spice cabinet. So I'm going to take some time to do these two cabinets. But my pantry um, video is not going to be on this one. It's going to be uploaded uploaded in the future because I have a lot of work. I have to paint and put other things together so guys keep watching so guys all i'm doing here is just you know putting out my containers and washing them you know something from the factory you don't know who touched it so wash the containers in a soapy warm water and let it dry because i'm using a bamboo lid i'm gonna let it sit out you will see it it took me like two to three days before everything could be completely dry so i spread them out and i left them for about three days before i could be able to transfer my spices into it so guys it's nice when you do it if you want to organize your pantry wash your containers dry them because you don't want to cover the wet bamboo cover and it's gonna build up most which is not good for our health so you're gonna let it dry and then you can do your spice transfer so here i just you know finished washing my containers and i set them out you know the cover face the uh, containers opposite so that the water could drain out and i left them i think it took me like two days before everything was completely dry then i could be able to transfer my um, spices into it so so this is the famous or uh, infamous cabinet my spice cabinet you can see how it looked it's not looking that bad we know <laughs> let me just take a little bit credit but what i'm doing here is i'm trying to bring out everything so that i can you know i'm fitting my new containers and see how it's gonna look so my son me and my son we kind of he was the one you know videoing me so he was making me laugh and we were like making jokes and having fun and at the same time he's gonna tell me mommy you doing this you're not doing that we're just doing it you know having fun and nothing much you know <laughs> oh my god don't mind my face the face i'm making there he kind of like saying stuff to me and i'm making face and the work is going well so after we did all the transfer we remove all the spices i have a lot of spices i know um i mean if you're an african you know we cook with a lot of spices we africans we cook a lot so that's our you know one of our symbols we cook a lot and we cook with a lot of spices so i'm trying to organize my cabinet so that it will be easy for me some of the spices i have here i didn't even know i have them some of them as far back as like two years ago when my mom came she bought some of them from africa and i still have them without even knowing so cleaning up my spice cabinet kind of like helped me so here 
I'm putting in my new containers, you know, setting my, what do they call it? Is this pie stand to see how it's gonna look? It's actually looking good. I love how it's turning out. So we don't have enough containers, but I'm going to order more because I have, I bought two spice stand and each of them takes like five or six and I bought like 30 containers of spice container. Did I say 30 container of spice container? Well, I bought 30 containers and looking at it, it wasn't enough. So I have to order more. So right here, I'm transferring all the spices into the containers and the funnel come with the uh, came with the order so that's what i'm doing here i'm transferring then i'm gonna put in the label after the label then we're going to put it back to the spice cabinet and we will see how it's gonna turn out so guys keep watching so after transferring all the spices then it's time to put in the labels so putting in the levels is like that takes a lot of work because you want everything to be like on the same level equal um like you know on a level looking oh god what, what is going on with me today because you want everything to be straight you don't want it to look crooked so it took me like a lot of time i have to like measure i have to put and remove those things are sticky but the good part of it is like you can remove it i mean i should have videoed where i'm doing it but due to my camera was standing the other side so it was kind of like um showing me doing it and without showing me putting in the labels so this is what i'm still doing and this is the rack i told you guys i ordered more and this is how it turned out the few ones i was able to do this is how it turned out and actually it's not disappointing it's not looking bad it's looking as expected i am so happy i am so glad that it's looking so after good. everything this is how my spice cabinet is looking can you believe it <laughs> i am so happy it is so beautiful it is beautiful you know let me talk it is beautiful i love it i love it i love it everything came out perfect so the remaining spices i put it up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some basket and put my spice oh, leftover God. not leftover like you know i'm um, back up up there so that when these ones are running down i'm gonna take from up and i refill it so guys this is how my spice cabinet is looking Woo! it is actually refreshing it is organized it's neat it's looking aesthetically beautiful this is my dream and i love it so I'm just putting everything together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a space in your house that you want to tackle, like I tell people, no space is ugly. You can work, you can do, you can make it come to the way you want it. So this is my, uh, the orb. These are my leftovers. I was saying, I'm gonna buy a basket from Home Goods and I'll put it together and everything is gonna look good. So the space you have in your house can be turned into something beautiful. Nothing just created itself. It's human being that put things together and they would look good so this is the outcome of my cabinet so these are this um cereal containers i was talking about that i order with my spice container but i'm not going to review my pantry now i just you know kind of like video it to see how it's gonna look i'm gonna do a separate pantry video and is gonna turn out beautiful this is the two um oil bottle i got from amazon too i'm just trying to make my kitchen be my own make it be relaxing and welcoming and inviting guys this is it if you have not subscribed to my channel but you like what this babe is doing can you subscribe like share comment and help your baby girl go viral i love you all like i will always do thanks for watching ciao ciao bye bye